Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at a native species of grass-carrying wasp called the Isodontia mexicana. These are found mostly in northern and eastern USA, but also throughout North America to varying degrees. The one you see here was found in northeast Indiana in a local garden. These are solitary wasps, which means they do not form colonies, and they are part of the thread-waisted wasps in the Sphecidae family. By the way, forgive any mispronunciations. We take our best shot at all these crazy scientific names. But anyway, the grass-carrying wasps are considered beneficial for the ecosystem because they're good pollinators and good biological control agents. Their larvae feed on local tree crickets and katydids and grasshoppers and that sort of insect, while the adults feed on nectar from flowers of all sorts of different plants. These wasps are definitely your friend. You sure don't want to spray them or poison them in any way, because they do good pollination work and they also clean up a lot of the bugs you don't want around. Take a look at this one. She just works and works, drinking up the nectar in this mint plant. But look at her body. She's covered in fine hairs, and those hairs do a good job of spreading pollens around as needed. Here in the United States, beekeepers across the country lost 45.5% of their managed honey bee colonies from April 2020 through April 2021. Those kind of statistics are scary. And if we're losing our bee pollinators, we're hoping that the wasp species of the country will step up and fill that gap, especially the native species. At this point, we're not sure if this is a male or female in this species. So if you happen to know, we're always happy to hear from any wasp experts out there who want to share their knowledge with us. So let us know in the comments what you think. Is this male or is this female in this species? Or do you think it's even a different species? To us it looks like the Mexicana, very much so, but it is somewhat similar to a couple other species out there in the same general family of wasps. So we love to hear from YouTubers uh, who have alternate opinions on things and can share knowledge, so let us know what you think. With some species of wasps, it's easier to see if they're male or female if you look at their face, so this is a good face shot of this wasp. So this species is not aggressive towards humans. Uh, they're just going to be doing some good work for your garden, so treat them kindly. You're going to notice that they will nest in natural cavities around your property like hollowed out logs or small holes in structures of all sorts where they build their nests with blades of grass and other dried plant material. You may even see them flying through the air with a blade of grass dangling down and this is pretty typical of this wasp. They will pick up all this material and they will line their wasp nest with that material and they'll lay one egg in each little cell, wall that cell off with a little bit of the grass material and then make another one right next to it, and then another one right next to that. I believe with this species, there's only one egg in each little grass cell that they make. And they will provision the nest with various insects that they collect for the larva to feed on while the larva go through that developmental stage. Then the larva will make a cocoon in that material, and they will pupate inside that cocoon, and they'll emerge as adult wasps. So you may find these types of wasps nesting in places like the grooves of the storm window frames on your house. You may find grass material along with the crickets or katydids or grasshoppers or other prey that they might collect for the larva to feed on. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and let us know if you see any of these guys running around your property. And if they end up somewhere they shouldn't be, just give us a call. We'll take care of it and relocate them somewhere safe. Thanks for stopping by and have a good one.